Welcome back uh, for another example. And here it says if PA equals 0.8 and PB equals 0.5 and PA union B equals 0.9, are A and B independent events? Why or why not? Now, I'm going to be straightforward. Uh, straight ahead with that answer is yes. Why? Now, remember that independent event or other called with the fancy word stochastically independent or statistically independent or independent in a probabilistic sense means that the PA intersection B should equal to PA times PB. When two events are independent, PA intersection B should equal to PA times PB. Not only that, but I will tell you later another one. So, PA times PB equals to 0.8 Point eight times point five, which equals to point four. Now, to prove that this is right, we have to find PA union B. And this PA union B has to equal PA, uh, has to equal point four by doing the PA plus PB minus PA intersection B. This has to equal to 0.4. So let's do this. PA is 0.8 plus PB is 0.5 and minus PA intersection B. PA union B is equal to 0.9. So now we can just do this. PA, uh, wait a minute, let me just erase that part right here. Now we can see that PA in the session B equals to 0.8 plus 0.5 minus 0.9 which equals to again 0.4 so 0.4 equals to 0.4 means the they are actually independent events so the answer is yes so that's what he was asking it's like a proofing thing we have to know how to manipulate the 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 formulas to get to the answer so we wanted to find that PA intersection B equals 2.4 with the PA times B and we wanted to use the union formula to find that PA intersection B equals 2.4 again. So that's what we had to do for this example. Now, uh, you may find other ones like that. So that should help. If you understand it, good. Other than that, that's it for today. Have a nice day.